Hi guys, it's Fake Ottawa here, and today I am going to film another organizing slash putting photo cards in my binder video. I've been saving them up for weeks, plus I also had like a mini Macari haul that came in a couple weeks ago, so that's where all this came from, plus just random impulse buys. I'm going to start off with a binder that... Actually, I've started collecting this group again, technically. Um, so, this is my Twice Binder. Uh, I did collect Cheong for a long time. I stopped after Summer Nights because things got really overwhelming and crazy. But I do have her um, Feel Special pre-order cards, which... Um, what I'm doing for their pre-orders, I'm just collecting Cheongs because nine <laughs> photo cards takes up quite a bit of space, especially if there's like three or four different pre-order things. So I'm just collecting Cheongs. This is my Summer Nights page. I do have the pre-order cards up here because I don't have enough uh, Summer Nights cards, but I do have her special message card. And I do have more cards of her coming in the mail, I just don't have them on me yet. And then we have my non-alt binder, which is a mess. Here we go. So I finally completed my Sunghee photo card collection for black dress. This is the red one that I was missing. I have the black one, which is up there. As of this recording, uh, Brown Eyed Girls recently came back with um, their Revive album, which is basically an album of um, covers of different like Korean songs from a long time ago or kind of recently. And the two songs that they released as singles uh, were Wonder Woman and Abandoned. And both are really, really good, I'd say. Obviously, um, Abandoned is definitely something that um, is a mood sort of song, which is like, you have to be in a certain mood to listen to it kind of thing, because it's a very, very like heavy, emotional like ballad. Compared to like Wonder Woman, which is more like 70s and like pop inspired, which is also really good. I love the videos for both of them too. Like I think um, they did a really, really good job with the concept and the filming and everything. And I love the drag queens and Wonder Woman. Like they look so good. Out of the two, I would say like Wonder Woman um, would appeal to like more international fans, but I like both of them. I just am like really obsessed with Wonder Woman right now though, out of the two. And I'm gonna try and collect all the cards for that release, but we'll see because I think it's gonna be pretty hard because not a lot of people collect brown eyed girls, so we'll see. My Everglow page looks like now, yeah I collect Mia and then these are the other cards that I have. So all of Mia's cards are done. I don't think I'm going to put the postcards in here though because there isn't that much space in this binder to be honest. So we'll just leave it as is. Um, I remembered I pulled two of her cards and I couldn't find the other one. But I found it recently. It was in another album which I don't know how it got there. Yeah, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Uh, Ladies Code and Brown Eyed Girls were like my most like exciting releases for October and then Taeyeon as well but those two were the ones I was most excited for because I've been waiting for a long time for them to have a comeback so the fact that they finally did was just amazing yeah ladies code song is really really good set me free and I love the music video so much it's just so fun and it's like a nice like poppy like inspired throwback to their older stuff and like you even see them in the video doing like a really like um 
goofy version of the bad girl choreography, which is their first um, song they ever did. I pulled Sujung in my first copy. I bought two, so yeah. I pulled Sujung, who is my bias. And I need to get those pages that are like horizontal because <laughs> I don't like that they're like this in this right now, but. We'll get- I'll get those eventually. And then I pulled Ginny in my other copy. And I just bought Ashley's the other day, so I have all of the cards technically. It's not on me. And then this is what the group card looks like. It's the same for all the albums. So I got um, Anne's Selka card from part two which is super, super pretty. I'm like kind of collecting Anne, but not because <laughs> it's it can be kind of hard to collect GWSN cards. And I pulled um, Xe's photo card, and I pulled Dayong's card for that. And I'm not gonna collect WDSN. I'm just gonna keep who I pull. So I have Uno's Silk card from the Prismatic version, which can go right here. And yeah, I'm still trying to finish my Kristen cards. I decided to collect my top three, so that's why it's not done yet. And I am super excited for, well, their group did release their song. I haven't heard it yet, but I'm looking forward to supporting, like, their new group because I'm so happy that they were able to, like, re-debut because I know, like, Roa, Unu, Yuha, and Rana debuted in that group, which is really, really awesome. So I'm happy that some of them are re-debuting now. But yeah, I did put sleeves on here. Um, and I do have quite a few cards, actually. And I know I said that I was going to start collecting her cards next year, but like I couldn't help myself and I checked um, a listing and I found her two Booming Blue cards that I was missing for like 300 yen altogether. CT. So I got some jungle cards that I didn't necessarily need, but I got them because I wanted them and I miss him a lot and I hope he's doing okay. I hope he comes back soon and when he's, at least when he's ready and then he feels like okay to do it because I don't want to force him into stressing himself out. Fan kit card. Um... And yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I have this one. And I do have another card in here that I got because it wasn't too expensive to get, to be honest. Jungle isn't super expensive. I mean, he can't, like, he's like in the middle, I would say, of like 
most to least expensive members so it's not like this wasn't a huge purchase it was just something I could get and I got so we have that and then we also have the like decon card I think that's how you say it but yeah this is from like their magazine thing I have the sticker in here as well because the seller included the sticker which is really nice yeah, this is what it looks like and it looks so cute and they've never had like a a thin like plastic card like this before And I have his Kino card, which is super cute. And I actually got it with the Kino. And then there's this little thing I have to talk about with the Kino. So, um, and then I opened it. Yeah, I was just like gonna check, like, to see like the postcards and stuff. And I see this, and I was like, did I just forget to put Renjin's card down? But no, Renjin's card was to the right of me. And you saw me put that card in. It's right there. They accidentally left this Geno card in here. Which I'm like still kind of shocked about. I actually forgot I had this card. So I have um... Chorong's clear percent card. Whatever, we can take that out. Um, funny thing about like like their Wee Boom comeback. Like I just for some reason I've Geno just really really likes me. Like I just bought their other version that I needed to get. Um, I pulled Geno's photo card for that. I pulled one of his cards, and then I also pulled his um circle card. shiny are like my top boy groups even though I don't have my shiny cards in here I just because I'm a terrible person <laughs> I forget to put them in uh, I just took these out of the story of light album that I have which is their repack so I have Taman's or one of Taman's cards for that and then here's the group card I pulled And then Super M. I think I'll just put them by age. So I did buy um, Ellie's special like photo book card and postcard, and this is where this is from. Um, this is from their Make Star photo book that they did. Last year, I want to say. It looks okay. And um, yeah, we have quite a few Wikimiki cards to put away here. I did finish this set. Like this particular set, not the whole set. Um, I have all of their yellow signature cards, so here's Lua's that I was missing. Alright. And then I have Lucy's as well, which is awesome. This is like my first um, complete set for Lock and Mall. I have another sleeve in there. There we go. Okay, and then here's what that looks like. This is Yu Jung's blue logo card. <laughs> that looks like. Which I have a sleeve in there, but I forgot about. That's okay. Ooh, there we go. And then we have quite a few weekend mall cards, so. 
Suyuns, Yujang, and then Doyan. This is the card that came with the photo book and the postcard. So we have this one. Yeah, Ellie's just getting her own page with her own cards. Like all of my other bias. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay. That's what that looks like right now. And then I also have some special cards that I did mention before. Four. These are her, or like two out of possibly four or eight broadcast cards. These are her, or this is the yellow signature and blue signature ones. There's also like logo ones, but I've only seen the blue one of these. And um, I've never bought broadcast cards before. So it was kind of iffy on the whole thing. Like, because they can be kind of expensive. This one's so pretty. Oh my god. So, yeah, I just jumped on these two. Like, I jumped on this one because it was only like $14 USD. And it's really pretty. And then this one was a little bit more. But, like, I thought it was worth it. So, I have these two now. These now, which look really nice. I'm going to try and get some more broadcast cards, but we'll see how that goes. Like, I don't even have any for, like, Jinjin, Jin, who is my alt male bias, and he's from Astro. Like, I don't even have any of his broadcast cards, so, like, this was just kind of an experiment to see, like, how I'd like them, I guess. So I'm gonna put Chunga's postcards away, too. There we go. That's what that looks like. And then we have this one. I think I'll just do them back to back for now. And I've been like kind of telling people lately that I have a YouTube channel. Um, it's not like, oh, you should like subscribe to me or anything like that, kind of, or like a weird, like, pressuring sort of thing. It's just, I just brought it up and talked about it a little bit. Like, I don't really go into depth unless someone asks me about it, because I don't know how people will react to me saying that I have a K pop channel on YouTube. I'm still kind of nervous about saying that in front of people I know IRL. I don't know why. I just am, I guess. But um, I did mention it to um, someone that I uh, I know. And like she has like subscribed to my channel and everything. And it's like kind of cool, but it's also like, I don't know, like I just never really expected that to happen, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I know, like, she was into K-pop. She's, like, a big, like, Mondebe and stuff. I have Lola's Woman cards here. We have this one. And then this one as well. And I did show her, like, some of my albums and it was kind of messy because I had all of this like stuff for my organizing video on top of like some of my albums on one of the shelves so it was like a huge mess on there like it was kind of embarrassing but she's a really she's pretty she's really cool and like understanding and stuff and this looks really really nice oh I have to put this here actually yeah this is gonna be for her her only one card when I do get that album. These look really, really nice. So, um, I got this huge L holder with like a postcard, like a couple postcards, and it was like a bundle and it was a really good price. 
but I don't collect owl holders and this thing is huge and I don't know how I'm gonna store this. So I'll just kind of put it in like a wood pocket and see how far that gets me, if it'll fit or not, I don't know. We'll put that in there and then we have some photo cards so this is a um, pre-order gift thing that K-Town for you did for their full album and I just recently got this card it is a lenticular and then I also got some basically like some Moonman photo cards for the most part so this is from dream part one this is the night version and like empty bottle. One of his all light cards. This is the green name version. This is actually like a more rarer card, I guess. Like this was only available in Japan and if you bought a certain amount of things, they would give you a random number of photo cards. So I got Jinjin's. For a really good price. Again, like I waited for a bit and the price went down, so that's how I got it. And then I have finally I have his last all light card, which took me forever to get because I just put it off for a while. And then I have one of um Bin's Autumn Story cards. To these cards so what I'll do is I think I'll put his she on my cards here so we'll do this one because it's like um the earliest one I think not 100% sure and we'll put this one here I think we'll put Season's Greetings here because there's two of them. It might not fit chronologically, but it'll fit in the binder. That's all that matters. <laughs> and then we'll put this page here. So we'll put the third fan kit cards in here and the other card as well. like okay so we have a few cards for red velvet here mostly day two cards and then there's some like there's like two extra cards so you know Wendy Yeti and then Sulgi's Zimzalabim cards Joy Wendy and then Sulgi I'm still waiting on my Wendy Kino card and I'm kind of worried that it lost in the mail because it's supposed to, it should have come by the end of October and it's basically the end of October and I haven't gotten anything. <sighs> but it's gonna suck to have to find that card again and try and buy it. <sighs> that was the only one I needed for the Kinos too. 
Got Wendy, and then we have another Wendy in here. So, Wendy's actual, like, Wendy's official album set is done, which is still a great thing. And then Joy's as well. I think Irene's is the only one I need to finish, but like. Her card is just really expensive and I don't want to pay an obscene amount for it. But I finished everyone else but Irene. <laughs> so, yep, we have Yeti. I think I'll just put them with the concert cards for now. Stop recording on me, so I'll do this as fast as possible. I'll stop again, put these back in order, and then I'll, uh, I'll just film again. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so what I did is I organized them by era. I got her, I got the Sulgi's ice cream cake postcards now. And I put the velvet behind that rookie I've had for a while. Oops, skip the page. Da -da 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 -da. And then I recently got her perfect velvet set. And then I think that's no. I do have her day one photo or photos, her day one postcards as well. And then I also have the four by six. And then for like extra things like fan art and whatnot, I did recently get this like anim like nineties anime summer magic. Like it's basically like a photo. Um, they- I don't think the artist left like a little like a uh, calling card or whatever for this order so I'll link them down in the description if you do want to get this. And then I also have these which are really really pretty. I like the um, the art style of the artist and um, their at is Expresso Shots. Where you can find them and then I also added the other day two postcards so I have Irene's now Wendy and Joy and I've had Yeti's for a while and um, that's it for my organizing video so I'll see you guys in the next video bye